switch. In the market for an Audi A7 but want something a bit smaller? There's an Audi for that in the form of the A5 Sportback, an A7 that has been shrunk in the dryer just a bit. We are a little surprised in Galstad's latest addition to its stateside lineup took this long to get here. The A5 Sportbacks have been on sale in Europe and other markets since 2009, and they've just received a complete redesign. This means North America joins this regularly scheduled program already in progress, with almost a decade of sales elsewhere in the world having shown demand for the fast back sedan with four rings on the grille. The Audi A5 Sportback is actually based on the A4 sedan, but it trades the three-box sedan formula for something a little more Koopa-like, complete with a positively huge hatch, a sleek greenhouse. Room for five passengers and frameless doors BMW has mined this segment in the US. with the 4 Series Grand Coupe, and, as we all know, German automakers seldom exploit newly discovered niches unchallenged. To be fair, Audi was here first, at least in the size category, and given the warm reception that its larger and pricier A7 sibling has received, the odds are already in its favor the A5 and S5 Sportback is on sale now. Adding to the A4 per R5 range a 2.0-liter turbocharged 4 powers the A5 Sportback, pumping out 252 horsepower and 273 pounds FT of torque, which is enough for sprints from 0 to 60 in 5.7 seconds with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic. Power goes to all four wheels courtesy of Audi's Quattro system. A glimpse of the cargo area with the rear seats folded down proves the car is anything but small on the inside. The A5 serves up 35 cubic feet of cargo room with the seats down, and a still respectable 21.8 cubic feet with the seats in this upright and locked positions, with the generous hatch opening being far more cargo friendly.